The patient is placed in lateral decubitus with a hip externally rotated for position 1 used for anterior arthroscopy. An antromedial portal located just medial to the tibialis tendon and an antralateral portal are used. Lateral endoscopy is performed with the hip in neutral rotation. The endoscopic portal is located 2 cm anterior superiorly to the midpoint between the base of the 5th metatarsal and the tip of the fibula. Lateral gutter is inspected using antromedial portal. Scar tissue causing impeachment is then resected with a soft tissue shaver and the ATFL footprint is burned with bone shaver to improve biological healing. A capsulotomy between the ATFL and the capsule is then performed. Before starting the endoscopy, a working space is created using a smooth trocar between the skin and the inferior extensor retinaculum. Circular movement will enlarge this area for later access and will keep the cutaneous nerves away. Using the endoscopic lateral portal, the inferior retinaculum can be identified and the section is continued. The capsulotomy performed before can now be seen endoscopically and will serve as a reference. Continuing the dissection inferiorly, the subtalar joint is visualized and posteriorly are the fibular tendons. The CFL can be identified using the fibular tendons as reference as its fibers run deep to the tendons. From this point, the CFL fibers can be followed superiorly to its fibular attachment. Electrocautery is then used through the anterior lateral portal to peel off tissue from the ATFL to CFL footprints. After this, the obscure tubercle is visible, marking the changing planes between the ATFL and the CFL. At the end of dissection, both ligaments can be recognized, the CFL anteriorly along with the retinaculum and the CFL posteriorly. The first anchor is placed in the CFL footprint through the endoscopic lateral portal. The arthroscope is then moved to this portal and sutures are passed through the CFL and inferior extensor retinaculum. The second anchor is placed in the ATFL footprint through the anterolateral portal and sutures are passed through both ATFL and inferior extensor retinaculum. Holding the foot in dorsiflexion, the sutures are tied and residual strands are cut. The final result can be observed endoscopically and arthroscopically, with ligaments reattached and retinaculum in a good position, just like in open surgery.